Hi, I'm Jacqueline Holt, uh, Medical Director of Delaware Imaging Network, RadNet, and I've been a dedicated breast imager for more than 20 years. Here at RadNet, we adopted 3D Quorum, which is smart slicing. And this paired with the Clarity HD really has advanced the way these uh, images look, and I, I think that it will prove to even increase our cancer detection rate and statistics. It was obvious to me that with the 70 micron image that things appeared sharper, clearer. There was less artifact, there was less of that uh, skin artifact, that brightening around the edges, and uh, surgical clips, large calcifications didn't have that sort of disturbing artifact um, on the image. We are seeing even tinier cancers. I look at diagnostics from callbacks that my colleagues have made. I am sometimes uh, truly blown away at the things that we uh, see and appear more definite as small masses with architectural distortion. I think that thicker slabs also help with the diagnosis of calcifications. Um, it's easier to tell that they are grouped. What has been remarkable to me is I feel that we can do a better job now with the high definition Clarity HD and the Quorum putting those together, there's more confidence in reading. Um, a mass is more obvious. Its borders are more definite, more confident, and more quickly seen if it is indistinct or fine areas of architectural distortion. There's a significant time savings in reading with the smart slices. Just the time alone to go through images without the quorum would be approximately 30 seconds for running the full slice of Tomos. Now, while it might seem super fast at first, it's a time saver without losing anything. And you can use that time how you like. Sometimes it, in a less complex case, that will actually translate into efficiency. And in more complex cases, I think what that translates into is more accuracy. I believe the number one thing is finding cancers. This technology really keeps us at the top of our game, um, being able to find these smaller masses and architectural changes and calcifications being more obviously grouped with this technology. I think when this technology was explained to me, there was a fear um, that proved to be unfounded that uh, I would want to go back and get those one millimeter slices. And I haven't found that to be the case. The way that the images overlap, uh, you feel you're gaining information, not losing information. So it actually helps reading and your confidence and detection of cancer. I tell my colleagues that I believe you're gonna find that fear is unfounded and you will feel more confident, more definite about uh, the, the images and you'll also see efficiencies in time. This addresses some of the difficulties I think that we've been having with going through large volumes of images. You can now do that more efficiently with more confidence and I think more accurate diagnosis. I am looking forward to our statistics because I think that this is going to have an impact on our cancer detection rates, which is the most important thing to me and I'm sure all breast imagers. I always say the proof is in the pudding. Once you uh, see the images with that technology, you uh, won't want to go back.